Hey there everyone and welcome back to Game Bind. And today we're talking about Dice Masters again. Now this is the second set for the D&D uh, installments and it is fair on Under Siege. You're seeing a big picture right here and this is my collection. I have a decent amount, uh, not everything, but there are a few holes in my collection, but enough to show you uh, what comes in the set here. Uh, this is a full-fledged set. It has a gravity feed, a starter pack. Now, I reviewed the first D&D set, and it got one of the highest ratings, or if not the highest rating so far, um, in my opinion. And it's because it took a game that I loved and added even more depth with experience points and characters and things that... I like D&D in the universe. I, I have played it, but... I don't know, something about that first set, adding that little bit, just made the game even more tastier for me. Uh, so with this second set here, it has a lot of hype to it. Um, uh, you would think that, you know, it's a shoe-in with me, and uh, maybe it can dethrone uh, the first set, or maybe it can be just as good. I, I will say that it does take some of the abilities from the past sets, and uh, it brings them back into rotation, but it adds uh, a few different abilities as well. So enough with the gab, let's check out what the dice look like and what the cards now do and see if this set holds up to my high expectations. Let's go. Alright, so these are the dice. Um, I, there are a different ray of colors. They seem to really hit that and they don't double up on too many. They seem to pick a good amount of reds, blues, greens, oranges, and so forth and so on. But this set, they have quite a bit of translucent ones, more than usual, I would say. Uh, but they introduce sparkly dice. Um, so I'm going to go over my, my four favorite dice, of course. Uh, this is the Beholder. Uh, he shows up again, but he's sparkly, and I really like that. Uh, this is, like, the best dice in the whole set, a psychic dice. What the heck is that doing there? Get out of here. Uh, this one here is just wicked. I'm pretty sure he's spark. Yeah, he's sparkly too, and he's uh, translucent. Uh, that's why I think they did more translucent ones this time to add the sparklies. Uh, this uh, gelatinous cube. I love this dice. Really cool one. And they really nailed the spider. Ugh, just icky, right? Yeah. Okay. So those are the dice. Check out the cards now. All right. So what you're seeing now is what you get in the starter set. All the basic action cards, the dragons, the cool bags. Uh, we're not going to go over every card, um, just a few of the basic action cards and one of every character that I've gotten so far. I don't have the entire set. Uh, I don't even have an ultra rare, so bear with me. There will be a few holes, but you will find out what this set contains. Uh, so, again, I'm not going to be able to pronounce a lot of these. Uh, the, you get this cat's sword. Uh, now, this is a basic action card, but it's kind of like um, a... A little equipment that's always there so target character gets um, X attack and defense where X is the number of NPC dice in your opponent's use pile when you use an action dice so that could be pretty awesome and you could get a lot from that again we have this flaming sword uh, in uh, it has equip equip a uh, character dice gets plus two attack and defense flaming sword deals one damage to a character dice blocking or blocked by equipped character uh, so it you just have equipment that's always there I will say that the ca card quality is a bit thinner thinner this time around it's standard the last uh, d d set had for some reason thicker cards and I like them but uh, what are you going to do? Uh, so you got chain mail there. It's another equip. It gives you plus four uh, defense and also protects you from wind field of things. Uh, this one here, Banishment. I really like this uh, um, at basic action. Uh, put target character dice from opponent's prep error into the use pile. So if something's being annoying and it just keeps coming back, you can just banish it. Uh, so the other basic action cards, uh, they're pretty cool to check out the art, but I'm not going to go over them right now. So let's go on to the character cards that I've gathered myself. Let's go. All right, so the first things uh, that we have here are the kind of equipment cards. You have a potion. Target uh, character dice gets plus three attack and defense. If it has an asterisk, it's plus five defense and attack. Just, that's incredible. Uh, then we have a ring. Um, it's an equip. Uh, when equipped character attack, it deals damage to target character dice equal to its level. So it's interesting. Uh, more damage. Okay, so those are the equipments. Now we'll get into, get into the heroes. Uh, dwarfs. I love dwarfs. He's a wizard. They don't really do magic too much, but okay. Uh, he has experience, which you already know what that is. While active, when you use an action dice dwarf, 
uh, wizard gets plus two attack and defense until the end of turn. Uh, now this uh, guy here, the half orc uh, barbarian, brings in a new ability. It's cleave. Uh, so um, if a character attacks and it, and is KO'd by a blocker, he this character deals half the damage rounded down to another character. So he's gonna he's only a fork, but he'll do two more damage if he knocks out another character, and that's new. I like it. Pretty cool. Uh, you can knock out some sidekick if you, sidekicks if you have a few orc barbarians in play. Uh, this one here is pretty thematic. I like this um, elf thief. Uh, if you have an energy in your reserve pool, you may um, field elf thief for free. Uh, when elf thief is for, fielded, you may use one of the energy uh, in your opponent's reserve uh, pool. So if he, he's hoarding something, you can literally steal it and roll it. I that's just I giggle when that happens. All right, so the half elf uh, bard. Uh, when the bard attacks, each attacking character gets plus attack uh, one of and defense for each of your other different character dice. So if you have a whole bunch of different character dice, they can be buffed a lot. And he's a three five. I haven't been going over, but these characters are mid weight um, to purchase. The heroes are, and they have experience, which they can get even stronger. Uh, the gnome ranger, uh, when fielded, draw a dice from your bag and put it into your prep area. So you're gonna have a dice pretty cool i like that uh so the human fighter he comes into play uh while active one during your turn if an opposing evil adventure is ko'd add an experience token to the human fighter immediately so he can really get buffed up he's a three three and only one to field but you know uh all right so we're getting into the fiends uh so fiends are right here uh there are a lot of fiends in this one and they really focus around each other so um, they add it quite a bit. So let's check out Loth. Uh, when Loth is active, whenever an opponent attacks with one or more character dice, that opponent takes one damage. And he is a 8-9. Pretty I interesting character. Uh, Oni, uh, when Oni is field, deal one damage to a target NPC dice. That's interesting. Uh, Aaron, yes. Um, now she has a gate, Aaron, yes. Uh, whenever they have a gate in front of her, it has this ability. When field it, you may take another unpurchased Aaron, yes a die and roll it. If it rolls a character face, put it in your prep area. Otherwise, returns to your card. So you can basically get a card for free. Uh, well, a dice for free of her and just have it indefinitely. That's really cool and that will show up a few times. You have the Beholder. He comes back into play. I'm not going to go into what he does, but he's pretty interesting. He's a 6-5 on his final level. Uh, Orcus, um, while Orcus is active, fe uh, Fiend dice cost two less to purchase. So again, you're gonna see a pattern with that. Um, and then you have the Lynch, uh, and he has energy drain, so that takes away um, the experience that people have gained. Uh, so that's nice, and it's times two. Uh, and he has it again right here. When fielded also, remove two experience tokens from each adventure card. So that's combating that big strong character that's been experiencing uh an awesome run that whole time so the bugbear uh, ambusher we have more fiends he comes into play as well uh he's an interesting card you have the intellect devourer uh he is fielded uh, uh the move target die showing energy from your opponent reserve pool to the used pile so he takes away energy in the uh reserve pool so that's interesting i'm not even going to try that guy's name um, but he, uh, your fiend dice costs one less to purchase, so he can be in there, uh, making it even cheaper. And he's a five, six. So the hellhound, he comes into play again. Uh, he does one damage to target, uh, opponent when he attacks. So, uh, you have a displacer beast. Uh, he's pretty cool. Um, when displacer beast attacks, you can swap it with another character after all blockers are declared. So I don't know if that's going to help. Uh, energy drain. Uh, we have another with the wrath here. A wind field to remove ex an experience token from a target adventure card. Uh, baller. Uh, I think that's how you say it. Now uh, he has a gate uh, gate fiend. When field that you may take a different unpurchased fiend dice and roll it. And the same thing as Aaron, yes. That's really cool, right? I love that. Now we're gonna get into the giant, Storm Giants. Uh, he will do deal two damage uh, to a target um, character. Uh, once he comes out, he's a 7-4 Storm Giant, pretty cool. Now we have Fabricate. This is a new thing. Now you um, KO up, uh, up to three character dice that cost up to five, and you can just take the Iron uh, Golem and put him into play, which 
for free and that's pretty interesting and you can take some sidekicks and one other person and make an iron giant which is a 6'8 and he has a pretty cool ability oh uh, we have the clay giant he has fabricated as well and he will take some damage for you two damage uh that's directed towards you and he'll take it which is pretty cool and he's a 5'7 and he's gonna be a big wall the hill giant is next uh, he has overcrush and uh he also, if he's uh, not blocked, no other characters can be blocked with that card. Uh, the Flesh Golem, that one's pretty gross to think about fabrication, right? But he also can take damage as well. We have the Blink Dog. He's going to do a damage uh, to each uh, blocking dice, dice, you know. So Gorgon, he's pretty cool. When fielded, when a target opposing character dice, if it rolls an energy face, kill that uh, character dice. So he's making people roll stuff. Rust Monster comes into play. When fielded, you you may put target attached gear into its owner's prep area. So it's rust and stuff out. So uh, the giant spider has swarm. Yeah, just gross. Just disgusting. All right, so the gelatinous cube comes into play again. Uh, and that's pretty cool. You capture stuff when it's fielded. Um, so the lizard folk, he has swarm. Swarm is fantastic. I just love it. You can have a whole bunch of him in there. Uh, and then you got... This guy, when fielded, KO target character dice with the purchase of four or less. Uh, and then the dragons come into play here, the black dragon. He has breath, weapon of two. We've seen in the last set, it's just kind of like an AoE uh, spray there. And he's a black dragon at 8-8. Eight, eight. Then we have the bra uh, bronze dragon. He is anti-breath. Uh, so you can pay an amount uh, that the breath is, like this two, and cancel it. So he's kind of like a protector. I like that a lot. Bah behemoth or Bahamoth, whatever you want to call him. He is interesting and he has overcrust and while he's active, no other um, breath weapons can be uh, uh, like assigned or even used. He is the ultimate breath person. So, and then you have the white dragon. He uh, is pretty cheap, a four and he's a six five. So those are all the cards that I've got. Uh, there are other cards that I don't have like Drizzt and maybe a few different ones. But you've seen a good, uh, healthy helping of the cards. So with that being said, let's give this game a grade and uh, give you my opinion. Let's go. All right, so that was Faron Under Siege. And as I always do, I'm going to be giving this one a grade. Uh, I'm sticking with a 96%, which is a strong A, just like I did Battle. Uh, and it's because I really don't know which one I like more. Um, maybe this one by a, p a point two because it has... Uh, I think maybe cooler dragons. I like Bahamut, but beyond that, I kind of look at uh, Battle and Siege as a set that in, at, in itself, like a whole, you know, because Battle came out and they had a decent amount of cards, but you might have to mix and match some of the other ones, maybe throw Spider-Man in there just to kind of, you know, give it a little more, because, I mean, it was just one set, and that battle was the left arm and it didn't have its right arm until siege came out and once that came out it was fully functioning i think you had enough to really pick from and it's becoming vast they're adding different kind of factions more fiends and fiends are actually working uh with the, uh, each other and that you can make such a strong fiend deck and there are more dragons and then of course there are more heroes and even more equipment and the basic action cards in this set are really cool they almost function like equipment like endless equipment that you can buy from a shop which is really cool i like that and again i mean i don't know which one i like more um the one thing that i will say i i said it in the video before but uh the card quality is now standard just like all the other uh um sets uh in battle they were a bit thicker and i kind of like that i i, I was hoping that the D, D set would have thick thicker cardboard but that's such a minor quibble um, but I mean, they made up for it with colorful bags this time around. The dice are now sparkly the first time it, it, it has, I think ever happened in a set. Uh, now they, they're carrying through and doing it, uh, sporadically in other sets. But I, I love the D and D kind of, um, mechanism in the world of Dice Master. I will play D and D anytime. I love how you can just build up your character's experience. And now with this set, uh, like the uh, Lynch King, uh, he will now sap that experience. And uh, in uh, battle, it was kind of hard to balance that out because once somebody was on a roll, they would get these big dice and just take people out. But now with this one, again, it completes itself. Uh, you can, you know, combat that. I just, I love the D&D &D set. And, and I want more, um, give me more 
different factions so I can build, like, instead of now you can build a good fiend deck, um, give me even more, like, the golems are pretty cool, just different things. I want more of that universe first. Just give me more and more and more. And I like that they're introducing even more of the big name characters. Drizzt is huge. I don't have him in this set, but he is here. Lolf, they, that he's a pretty cool character. Um, but that's interesting. But I would say that this is the definitive way to play this game. Uh, there are other themes may excite me more, but if I want to play an in-depth, juicy game, I pick this uh, set in particular. Either one, either Battle or Siege. But again, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it was informational and it entices you to buy more of this set uh, because again I think this is the definitive way to play. It was a bit hard to find in my neck of the woods but you can find it out there if you try. Um, so if you are a new viewer and you like what you see thank you so much for watching first off uh, and click like and subscribe if you dig it. If you are a continued watcher you are the lifeblood and you keep us keep on keeping on. I think that yeah, that's how that goes. I want to send out a huge uh, shout out to WizKids. They provided a starter uh, set so we could hasten this process and get the review out there for you guys. Thank you so much for that. Very much appreciate it. But that's all the time I have for today. Uh, I really like this set and I recommend it to any of the Dice Masters fans and even a novice if you like D&D. So until the next time that I see you, have a great rest of your day and a great time with all the Dice Masters that you play. You see it here on the game bye. I'm out everybody.